River State Governor Yeso Mezonwike has urged lawmakers representing the state at the National Assembly to defend the interests of the state fearlessly. He has therefore advised them to resist distractions, remain united and consult the party regularly. Governor Wike gave the charge at a brief ceremony for the presentation of 15 Land Cruiser Pradu VX and TXL cars to members of the National Assembly at the Government House Portacket. The governor was represented by the River State Chairman of the People's Democratic Party PDP Ambassador Desma Kao. Governor Wike said the gesture will ease their movement and enable them to discharge their legislative duties effectively. He urged them to keep faith with the party so that they can collectively recover what was lost at the national during the forthcoming 2023 general election. Recent, His Excellency has empowered the judges of River State Extraction who are serving in even other states, but because they are rivers indigenous, it's made available some tools for them to work and provided accommodation for them as well. Today, he has mandated us to visit the National Assembly members from River State. The reason for what he's doing is to enable you to do your work without any distraction, support you, and as you do your work as rivers men and women, to put your shoulders high and represent River State. Responding on behalf of the lawmakers, the senator representing Rivers East Central District, Senator George Thompson Sekibo, expressed gratitude to the governor for the gift. He noted that despite the challenges poised by the COVID-19 pandemic on the state finances, the governor still saved funds to provide them vehicles. All of us at the National Assembly we want to through you pass our gratitude and appreciation to the governor of River State, our own governor. It is actually not expected now, having been engrossed with the COVID-19 problems, and then giving succor to the reverse people and still have a little savings to afford these vehicles and give to us to go and do our work. We sincerely appreciate him and we thank him. The member representing Kana Gukana Federal Constituency, Honorable Dumene Deko, commended Governor Wike's benevolence. He said the governor has been consistent in encouraging the federal legislators to protect the interests of rivers people. These vehicles are vehicles that will enable us to do our jobs very, very well, especially when we have to come around and go to our various constituencies. It's a, it, they are vehicles that are terrain friendly and they are brand new like you can see them. They are also status vehicles and we are very, very grateful. They are going to help us because even in the National Assembly, I am sure what is given, even if they have not even given some of us up till now, is uh, not, not in this class. This is something else. Also speaking, the member representing Obiakpo Federal Constituency, Honorable Kinsley Ogundu Chinda, assured the governor of their continued support. For the best of leadership for River State, and we continue to assure our people that we will also put in our best to ensure that not just that River's voice is heard, that we bring back development to the state. Because we know that to him, who much is given, much is expected. On her part, Honorable Boma Goodhead, who represents Akukutoru Asaritoru Federal Constituency, prayed for greater triumph for the governor because he has always integrated the National Assembly members in the scheme of things. Very, very grateful. He did it the last time and he did, he's doing it now again. And all how to say is that God should continue to keep him, protect him, and give him the wisdom to continue to. Um, lead the state the way we should go and I'm sure that at the end of the day we're going to be the envy of all the states. In this reaction, Honorable Awaji Abianti, representing Andonio Pobunkoro of Federal Constituency, said they will reciprocate the gesture by representing rivers people well in Abuja. That His Excellency has given to us. We are a lot more surprised even now given the fact that some states have even been de declared bankrupt, if you read the papers today. And for our states to have gone through the challenges of COVID-19, 
all the palliatives that have been given to our people and giving us this level of encouragement to just go do the job that we have been asked to do. We are grateful. Also speaking, the Secretary to the State Government, Dr. Tami Danagogu, said there is healthy synergy between the national lawmakers and the state government. He said the synergy is made possible because Governor Wike has remained a leader who unifies all segments of leaders. And say that he is giving so much to every arm of government. The executive, this legislature, of course he had given the State House of Assembly before, the judiciary, so every arm of government in this state or, con or from indigents of this state in every arm of government are being provided for. Thank you.